guys, it's Chef Rob, and I'm going to give you some of my tips for when you throw a party, no? And I'll force myself to give 10 tips, no? Number one is document. You can't really plan enough because there's so many things going on, so you want to document. And what do I mean by document? Have one piece of paper for the schedule, have one piece of paper for the things to print, have one piece of paper for the bar, have one piece of paper for the layout, everything you can document. So that's tip number one. Number two, ask for help. Making a party can be really overwhelming. Even if it's a party of 12 VIPs or 300, it's very important that you have help. So delegating and asking for help is really good. Number three is uh, do a tasting of the food. This is very important, but you really want to do a tasting of the food. And speaking of food, can you wait? So over here we have some eggplant tortilla and foie gras and unagi with balsamic. So yes, sir. Okay, you gotta do a tasting with the food. Do it with the chef or your caterer. And you also want to take pictures because sometimes, and we all know this, what they serve you, the size might be bigger in the presentation so that they get an account. But when it comes to the actual event, you know, things get really small and you don't want that, no? So you have to agree also, like, for example, with a number of grams when you do the tasting. Number four, always prepare the bar really well. Now, it might seem so obvious, but you need water, ice, some kind of beverage that's not water. Uh, usually it's juice. And nowadays, people don't like too much sugar. And then you also need some alcoholic beverages and something for the kids. Also coffee. So a prepared bar is really important. Next is uh, number five. Always expect the weather to change, especially if you have outdoor catering. Our beautiful catering here. And look at the clouds. So we're a bit crossing our fingers, no? But there's contingency. We have tents standing by, and you should always anticipate a weather change especially if you're doing something outdoors. Number six is the staff. You want to make sure you're fully staffed. And uh, the staff, you have to make sure they're also all in complete uniforms. It's very difficult when you just ask people to show up and bring, let's just say, a black shirt and an apron or a white shirt because you never know that they might have, uh, you know, those printed t-shirts under the white shirts. And all of a sudden, the attention of the guest is always on that particular waiter. So agree with your caterer on what the uniform is. At least have a picture. Uh, pictures are always good and it's also good to have it on email because when it's on email it's a record no? and you can they can be held accountable for that number seven is hire an assistant to pay the bills okay the last thing you want is for caterers to and suppliers of decorations balloons music bar to pester you when you're having the time of your life with your guests so have your assistant ready with a checkbook or uh, if it's cash no i prefer check so that what you can do is uh, make sure that she handles she or he handles paying the bills towards the end. Number eight are your printables. And what do I mean by printables? Those are your invites and also menus for the guests. You want to communicate what's happening. A program is good. Uh, printing a menu is also good. So that way the guests know what to expect. Some of them also in a hurry, probably they have a flight to catch or they have their kid waiting at home. So they're also computing the time they have to stay in. You know? And they want to be respectful so they want to stay in the whole event. So a menu and a program will really help them really, really well. Number nine is the table setup. I totally invest when it comes to cutlery. Totally invest when it comes to steak knives. I totally invest when it comes to, to plates and glasses because you want the tables to look amazing. When the pictures are shared, they can't taste the food, how delicious it is. They can't taste the cocktail, how delicious it is. But they can see how the table setup is done. So everything with the flower pieces, the cutlery, the glasses, the way you print your, your menu, everything matters. And that's what's going to be shared, especially now on social media. So for the people who couldn't make your party, you want to show you know, how nicely prepared it was. So always print all those printable stuff and also make the table set up really, really, really kick ass. And then last but not the least is number 10. If you're going to cater for something special, you got to go with a credible caterer or a caterer that you know, like us. <laughs> of no hard sell. Do something that you know, look at their place, go to the food tasting, ask to see the cutlery, ask to see the plates, ask to see the glasses, the serving platters, the uniforms of the waiter. Because if they don't have anything to show you, they might be getting it from a third party supplier. And you don't want that because you're never going to know what's going to turn up. And that's it for our 10 tips on how to throw a party. I'm going to give you number 11. Don't get wasted on your own party so that you can enjoy it. You can get wasted towards the end, that's just me. You want to enjoy it with your friends. You don't want to make a mess of a celebration and regret it the next day. No? Once the main program's done and everyone's okay, you really want to celebrate, you can do that towards the end. So thanks very much, guys. That's my 10 tips on throwing a party. 
Just in case you have a party, we'd be glad to invite you over to the restaurant for some food tasting. And you can check out our uniforms, glasses, plates, cutlery, everything, and the food. All right, so cheers very much. 